and the release window is now open. So with the window open, we'll stand by for confirmations of the commands to the robotic arm to begin the slow release process of Dragon. Should come momentarily. And with that, you can see the arm slowly backing away. Dragon released 4.11 a.m. Central Time, 5.11 a.m. Eastern, with the station about 257 statute miles over the Earth's surface, just to the south of Australia. You can see Dragon slowly drifting out. Again, that release time right on time, 4.11 a.m. Central, 5.11 a.m. Eastern, exactly per the timeline. Again, Dragon going to slowly drift out. The robotic arm retracts, and then the first departure burn should come at about 4.14. The arm now in motion, backing away from Dragon. There you can see the grapple fixture on the vehicle, which is used to uh, grab it when it arrives and then was grabbed by the robotic arm for the unberthing and ultimate maneuvering to this release attitude and then released by uh, the Canada Arm 2. And then there, there you can see it. SpaceX's Dragon slowly drifting away. Arm already about nine feet away from Dragon. And so the first of three departure burns executed. Dragon slowly backing away now. Houston, departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in approximately one minute. Okay, thanks, Houston. And you can see Dragon continuing to depart. The sun is setting on Earth and on the International Space Station and Dragon as it flies away. Loaded with more than 5,400 pounds of cargo, research samples, vehicle hardware, and other items making its way now from the station on its way soon back through the Earth's atmosphere for a splashdown in the Pacific. Hey Houston, it looks like it's time to say goodbye to Dragon. Uh, there's a part of us that will come back down to Earth with her, uh, and I mean that literally because it carries lots of important scientific samples and some obtained directly from the crew. I know the scientists can't wait to get their hands on these results, and thanks to return vehicles like Dragon, the ISS is able to fulfill this mission of science and discovery. From all the crew of Expedition 50, many thanks and congratulations to all the teams involved in the CRS-10 mission.